from my garden hose right outside my house. But now we have to make the water healthy and nutrient rich for these beautiful plants to grow. pH is how alkaline or how acidic it is. So pH of the water usually comes down around 7. You want it down around 5.5. Very easy. We have here pH down that comes with your kit. Essentially, you just take a couple capfuls and put it in your reservoir to bring it down. You can test it with a really simple pH testing kit that's color-coded and also comes with the tower garden kit. So, Evie, what would we do now? What we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of tower tonic A. And full strength is 400 milliliters for 20 gallons. So we've done A, so now we're going to put in B. We're going to put the same amount of B in, which again is 400 milliliters, 200, and again another 200. That's full strength. Full strength is important to use when you have lower light situations, winter time, that sort of thing. You can actually go to half strength during the summer, because the well, plants will be blowing up a lot more water, and thereby needing less nutrients per volume of water. Did I need to test the water before we did the nutrients? No, it's fun to test the water to see what's coming out of the tap, but it's not necessary every time. Right, so it saves money on that. And these two would give me 90 days in full strength. Exactly. Right. Assuming I'm doing this once a week. About five gallons five of gallons. added nutrient water a week. Great. Do we need to stir it up or anything? Yeah, it's good to give a little bit of stir, let it sit for a second, and then we'll test the pH and see how much pH down, how much acid we need to add to get it to 5.5. Okay, so now we'll close it up. And this is how you're going to fill it up. You're going to do your filling from here. You can do your testing from here. Okay, so now we're going to test the pH. Everything comes in your little pH tester kit. Graduate a cylinder. Get about 5 milliliters of water. An easy way to get 5 milliliters is tip it on its side. That essentially gets you oh, it 5 milliliters of water. It's a little easy check. Then you've got your pH testing dye. This is how you get your color-coded pH. One drop for every milliliter. We have five milliliters, we're going to do five drops. One, two, three, four, five. So as you can see, that turned green. What does that mean? Well, it comes with a little yeah, pH cool. color-coded piece of paper here. This is looking around pH of seven or so. It's the darker green here. The reason why we want to go down to 5.5 is because plants naturally will raise the alkalinity of the water. So you want to take it down to its lower level so that it will raise up over time. What we're going to do, I try not to get too technical with it, you can use a teaspoon. I use the cap. I essentially put one cap full in, stir it around. I like to stir it with the lid. Oh, that's good. There you go. That's easy. One less thing to worry about. And since it's 20 gallons, I know I'm going to need about two capfuls. So we'll put another capful in. She'll stir it up. You can let it sit for a little bit so that it equalizes. But we'll test it right now anyways. Tip it over. Five milliliters. You want to put the drops in? I do. As you can see, you're at a yellowish orange which is exactly where we want to be. Oh, yeah. Somewhere between 5.5 and 5. We've got nutrient water, we've got correctly balanced pH water, and the plants are going to be happy. Okay, so we brought you along now to get to the very end of this wonderful process. You see, we have no water yet running through this whole thing. And, like as if we have just put up Christmas lights on our Christmas tree, officially a farmer. We're at the close and we've got our plants growing and we're so excited that now Iggy's done with us and he's going home to Montecito, California. But with that being said, we've now recruited Bob Lemon, my son-in-law. He's going to take over and make sure everything runs smoothly because we're going to get a lot more towers and show you a lot more things going on. But with that being said, Bobby's going to be available to help anyone who wants help to get their own tower garden going. What's better than that? Thanks so much for being with Real Food Real Life and thanks for coming by. Bye.